What is good, friends? We are back on Pokemon Showdown. We're just gonna hop on the ladder with this Decidueye team. I hope the Decidueye can put in some work. We got Choice Bandit Zygarde. I've tested this team on another account in the 1600s. We did pretty well, but I honestly slept this together pretty fast. I don't know how good it is. Um, we have Z-Move as the Decidueye, which is the Mr. Arrow Raid is the Z-Move. Max attack. Actually, destroy the stall team with this. I might have to put that replay in the description. That's gonna be. That was so fun. Uh, we have U turn, taunt, type of Coco, and Nature's Madness. Um, hopefully, it's not a stuff, scarf, doggy. So, I assume this is Zard. Why this team's like pretty. Uh, I think I feel like I've seen this team before. I mean. I don't have Hammer on Metagross, so the Ferrothorn. Yeah, this team struggles with Ferrothorn, and of course, we face a Ferrothorn in the first game. Um, I'm gonna just lead off with my Bandit Zygarde. See, it's with Ferrothorn. Okay, so we will just go Toxapex. I um, have Spadef Toxapex on this team to check Ash Greninja. Um, beats out Y. Goes into Landers, there. Nice play. I want T-Specs up in this in this game, honestly. Just to chip at the Fini. So I'm gonna go for T-Specs. And I can just go for Skull here because like he's defensive lander, so he's not gonna do too much to me. I mean he could still be Z-move, but I feel like he's Z-move for Hermosa. Yeah, okay. Okay, that did a lot because we split death, but if we get the burn, this is gonna be amazing. But of course we don't get the burn. Um My Landers is so obvious, so he's probably gonna predict that, but uh, I feel like I still have to go Landers. I wanted to stay in there, but okay, never mind. Yeah, I'm gonna just get up my rocks, force him with defog. Um yeah, he crits me this fucking sucks like that crit matters I have spadef investment that doesn't kill like it's not like he specs or life up or anything rip maybe HP I think there was a better play to kill his landers but now I don't get up rocks um which means I cannot kill his zard with sucker punch from the situation I have to go Metagross now, but the thing is, there's a Ferrothorn in the back. If I had Hammer Arm, I would click Hammer Arm here. I have to change this to Hammer Arm. I will do this right after this game. I feel like I cannot win this game now. It could cost me. I mean, I have to double into Zygarde, right? Predicting his Pharaoh. And I just have to get 1000 arrows damage, which only lasts like 40 ish. So yeah, this team is way too weak to Ferrothorn. Nano should get to it killed. If she doesn't get to it killed, wow. I'm gonna go to Sidui here. He's like on HP, I so He could U-turn, I guess. Predicting me to switch. He's probably on HP, I so off quick. Predicting Metagross, maybe? Like, either HP, I predicting me to stay in off quick. Predicting the Metagross. Ego goes for you, John gets another crit. Oh, I love Pokemon. Like, I don't even care if the hex matters or not. It's just annoying. I mean, I, of course I care if it matters, but... I don't know if this one mattered, but the one on the landers was so annoying. Like, I don't even want to record anymore. What is this? <laughs> I just want to try to get some work in with my Decidueye. And, like, with Rocks up, Decidueye would have been very threatening to his team. Uh, Sucker Punch is resisted, so there's no way we knocked this out. Like, I have to make the Toxapex play again, but... Yeah, I wanted to stay in there. If he didn't crit me, I could have lived the U-turn. But of course he had to crit me. So yeah, there goes my Toxapex. And like, see, now usually I would have I would have rocks up now. Like right now I had rocks up. I could just go to Zidua after I lose this, and I could SD up, and I could basically like destroy his entire team. Like Ferrothorn was the only thing that could take a hit. Zata is to sucker plus two. I guess it would be a 50-50 if you lose some sucker. Okay, Ferrothorn also doesn't die to sucker. I feel like okay, never mind. Yeah. 
but I feel like I could live a hit from Fermosa if I was healthier. Um, yeah, I have to. Like, I can attempt to switch out, but I'm obviously trapped. He's just gonna trap me since I'm spit deaf, I cannot live. Like, I actually might die to Earthquake. Rip, yeah. I just lose this game, but I have to like bang on some switch out. Okay, I just die. Yeah, I should have suckered then. <sighs> like, I cannot even beat Ferrothorn anyway. I don't know why I'm even playing this game. Like, I'm making my Metagross Hammer Arm right now. Okay, let's just keep. Stay focused. Let's not. We didn't play this game. Well, like, I want to keep Bullet Punch because this team doesn't have a Scarfer, right? So the, the reason I don't have a Scarfer is because I have Sucker Punch on this, E Speed on this, and Bullet Punch on this. So, like, triple priority. Yeah, I don't know why I set my decision. That was an ass play. I have to go hard. Metagross on an Ice Beam now. Like, I'm thinking what I should put. Okay, he goes for Z Move. Yeah. Gets another crit that didn't matter, but like put some salt in the wound. Yeah, of course. And now you can just go Pharaoh's on, but I have to bank on him staying in. Like, I don't have a win can anyway. Yeah, okay, sex is Landers, I guess. I mean, now he can go Pharaoh's on if he really wants to. But I'm, there's no way I'm switching. Can just forfeit this game. Like, what do I put hammer arm over? T punch is for stealth stealer. Stealth stealer is annoying, but I feel like I don't need T punch. I mean, the the, the idea was I have electric terrain to support Metagross with T punch just to destroy stall completely. But I guess I have Bennett Zygar with Taunt type of Goku to be good versus stall. So I'll make this. I'll make this hammer arm. Farrowthorn is just too big of a pain. Maybe I should run HP fire on my type of Coco. I mean, Nature's Menace is kind of the same thing, but not really. I mean, I probably would have lost this game anyway, because I didn't have Hammer Arm on my meta. But, like, without the Hex, it would have been a bit closer. Yeah, it's just forfeit. Yeah, of course, we lose now in the. I think we're 1484 on this account, so now we're gonna be like 1460 or something. Of course, I won in the 1600 four games in a row with this team. So now we face some more wild offense. Oh, uh, we have the Toxapex for the Greninja and for the Volcarona. The Mawa is obviously a big threat. I cannot switch into that. We see Ferrothon again, so I'm glad I put Hammer on my Metagross. I feel like he's gonna leave Greninja or Landris or Ferrothorn. Metagross should be okay here. Yeah, I need to Greninja, like, let's just go Toxapex. I have to keep winning now. I have to, like, win three games in a row now after that first L. Like, otherwise, we're not gonna make any progress. As he's the extra sensory set, okay. I was about to say, like, earlier when I was testing. I was like, why would do Greninja just not run extra sensory? Hmm, rip. Like, I don't have anything for this. I guess I have to go Tapu Koko. And that's that shit. Good god, I did so much. I'm gonna just Nature's Man as the Pharaoh. Oh, Excadrill, interesting. Um. This was already a bad start. Would this be Scarf Drill on this team? I don't see what I lose from going Landris anyways. I wanted to U-turn there, but... Ah, oh, good god. This guy's just reading me like a fiddle. This is so embarrassing. I don't even want to record anymore. I'm getting played like shirts. Yeah, he finally makes a safe play there. As he gets a crit. Okay, dude. Did that crit put me in range? Okay, that's, that could put me in range to die from extra sensory. Gotta love Pokemon. I'm going to Metagross now on the extra sensory. 
Wait, what? Why would you HP fire there? That that doesn't make. It. You try hard. That was not a good play. You try hard. You take it. You took advantage of critting me, dude. That's not. That's not how it works. You scum. Good God. This guy is scum. You just crit me and then you take advantage. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, T-Spikes only hit the Volk besides the Grin, so I don't think there's a point in making that play. I'm going back into Metagross. I mean, now you should go with Scout for the Hammer Arm, but I'm going to just go for Hammer Arm because Ferrisone is such a pain to deal with. Yeah, that was so obvious. I should have Ice Punched there, but... I'm supposed to know this shit. I'm gonna double hammer on me, break him to go back in the Pharaoh. Cause the ice punch is like obvious, right? The ice punch kills your Landris. You don't wanna sack your Landris. Exactly. So we get 64 on the Pharaoh, which is something. He's probably gonna get lefties back here. Now we go Bandit Zygarde. Oh, he has Dia with the Sejoy, but we don't have rocks up, so SDing up doesn't, is not the play, I feel like. And it's like just get damage on his Landris. I mean, I could have doubled out into what though? No, not really. That did absolutely nothing. What the fuck? How is that choice, Ben? This guy's mixed defense in it, but that did zero. Like, uh, is Diablo my decision on this? The thing is, I don't, I cannot speak with this, but I hope we can get a kill. Mawa gets the intimidate off. Huh. I feel like I have to suck a punch, try to outplay him. Yeah, why, why, why would you play her off there? You die! You died to my Z move! I kinda predict this guy. What the fuck, dude? That didn't make any sense. Like, yeah, if you predict me, cool guy, but that's not a. What would. What the fuck? Why would you not sucker punch there? Try hearts. I'm getting so mad. I guess he predicted me to go Landers? I don't know. I don't get that play. I mean, I kinda get. No, I don't get it. He would have died. Yeah, so I actually, like, I'm just playing awful. And of course this happens in the 1400s and the win in the 1600s. Amazing, I need rocks up, but Ferrothorn is going to heal now, which is dog shit. Like, this team doesn't beat Ferrothorn, now he's going to heal. Fucking amazing, I'm getting so mad. Actually, that did more than I thought it would, and we get a dodge. That's some justice for his... I mean, no, it's not justice, like, he outplayed me, but... I want HP ice here. I mean, Ferrothorn is such a threat, but I'm. Fuck! I overpredicted for no reason. Okay, he missed again. Oh my god, I'm lucky and bad. By the HP ice there. <laughs> Tried to stun. We might still have a slight chance because we lacked, but it's gonna be rough. Kinda wanna stay and predict him to extra sensory. Okay, never mind. Don't creep me then. This time, please. No, I can just fire off skulls. Don't flinch me, dude. I mean, I got some hacks dodging leech seeds, but. Like, I didn't. Maybe he just outplayed me, but I really didn't get why he play rough my decision. Toxapex is nice to keep for his... For his Volcarona, so I'm gonna keep it for sure. Actually, going Landris is an awful play, because... He can HPIs me now, and then I'm... I kinda... I'm weak to... Super weak to Marwell if he HPIs me. But if he HPIs me, he loses his Landris, so I guess I'm fine with that. 
He goes hard more one. What 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 is this a comp? What what? What is going on? You gonna go back into that? What is what? He just sacked his mama. Okay, like so. What are you gonna do now? I don't understand how this guy's doing. Like at the beginning, yeah, he played me, but now, what's going on? I'm just gonna earthquake this. Okay, Z move. Then that kills. Holy fuck! What well, corona was busted? Banned this shit. Just kidding. Just kidding. I'm. He could be HP as well, Corona. I'm gonna just fire off a skull here. He quiver dances up. I don't understand what this guy's doing, but whatever. I guess he does. Yeah, he cannot switch out, I guess, yeah. Yeah, I understand quiver dancing there. So his HP grunts. Um, let me haste this. God, this video is gonna get the juiciest dislikes. I said that in the last episode too, but. I don't know what I'm supposed to do versus. Um, like at the beginning, I just got all played. But in the game before, like the hex just got me so mad with God. I just have to. I hope that I can win this with my Zyger now. Which I should be able to do. Um, I mean, Coco cannot really touch the Landris. So I feel like second Coco instead is better. Because Toxapex can still live a hit from Landris. And now I just click um, Thousand Arrows. I mean, I lucked out this game. But this is what I needed. I would have been on super tilt of a lot anymore. Maybe you should change the TR. No, we, we're going with this team for this life. I know this team isn't good, but I'm trying to use some Decidue action. Like Decidue, I would have killed this more well if I didn't. If I didn't like. So we're back at 1484, we're basically back where we started, so 70 minutes wasted, 17. So basically they have to win two in a row now, so that we at least accomplished something in this episode. Good god, like I didn't even say GG because I just lucked this guy. Um, I'm so mad that I didn't ice punch uh, that like the last game when it was so obvious that he would go Landris. But the thing is, I don't know how good the ladder is, and since I'm in the 1400s, I didn't expect this guy to have a brain. Like, ladder people are so weird. Like, I guess I just have to start checking their rank. Like, usually I would... Like, I completely understand how he played. He made good plays, but... Like, some ladder players don't play like that. They don't have a brain, okay. This guy's not that doesn't have the best drinking. Like no offense, of course I misplay my I misplay myself too, but some ladder players are weird. Okay, so it's just double ground. Which one would be the Z move? I'm thinking it's the thinking it's Rock's land on Z move jump. I kind of just want to lead over the Sidui, oh, but nah, I just want to lead over top of Coco. Okay, okay, who leads with guard jump? I mean, yeah, it's this rocker probably, or is, if it's Z move. It's either Z move or rocker, obviously. Um, I'm gonna just go Landris, but yeah, if he just gets up rocks here, this is just a bad start for me. Like, I just gave him three rocks. Okay, just earthquakes, amazing. So, I don't wanna let the Zard come in. Actually, I'm gonna just go for rocks here, what am I saying? Zard comes in, that's free. Eh, that's fine if Zard comes in, is what I meant to say. So, I don't know why he's staying in my HPI is here. Okay, he asked these, I thought he would potentially... Like, I would have gone to Kelly there if I was my opponent, but yeah, my H... Hmm, Z-move, probably. Is he Z-move? If he's Z-move, that's... Oh, he predicted me to switch there. That was an over prediction. I don't agree with... I don't agree with Earthquake, I guess he pricked my mana growth. 
I mean, I get his play, but I don't really agree with Brit in that specific turn. But yeah, we're under 1500s now. Thankfully, that thankful we are positive, even though I played like Dong. Like last game, I just got outplayed. So we get Patompas now. Amazing. That's definitely not what I wanted to play. I feel like I might just leave with the Haggard and spam 1000 arrows. Nah, I feel like hmm, I can leave with Decidua here. I wanna leave with Decidua and get him an SD, but I don't know. Like, he's gonna sub here. Is he, is he gonna sub or is he gonna protect? He, so he's just gonna sub. Okay, so we're just gonna spam Spirit Shackle then. That was foolish of me letting him get a sub up. So he's gonna put Tompas into Landris, which I don't understand. I guess he's Zemo of Landris. I'll just go for Sucker Punch. Get some chip damage. Like, I guess I could have gone to Managros there. No, but what do I do if I go Managros? Like, next turn. Like, I could have gone Managros and then pivoted into Lannis, yeah. I gotta start playing better. I got, this is so embarrassing. What am I doing? I'm just gonna get my rocks up here. Um, This is gonna cost me a lot of health on my Landris. But I'm gonna pick this off with an HP ice. Hopefully he will not crit me. As he crits me. Come on! I hate this game so much. <laughs> like, can, can this game not do this to me? My earthquake here. This is so annoying, because he can, like... Potentially go for Benton Pass and... Like, yeah, I don't want to get him a sub. I don't want him getting a sub up. HPS probably won't break the sub. But I'm at HPS once here because he's going to protect. And then I'm going to have quicker U turn. He hard switch? Why did he hard switch? U turning that would have been amazing. I don't want to give him a beast boost here. I'm just going to Toxic Packs. See, substitute Celesteela. There's no point in setting T-Spikes as long as he has the the Scully bead. God, this set is annoying to deal with. It takes two Skulls to break this up. Damn, I just got damage on my Coco. And of course he gets the burn. I just was about to say don't burn me. Can this game not do this dog shit? Like, this game sucks. Can... I mean, yeah, my plays. I don't really have a play. I just have to stall this out of Leech Seed, which is gonna fucking take forever. But of course, it's like the game doesn't really. Damn, still didn't break the sub. <sighs> Dude. Like that one game I lucked out and I didn't play well, but still. I'm gonna go with Zygarde here. I'm gonna just spam arrows now. Bandit arrows. Like, he doesn't have switchings for this. His scissor's not mega evolved yet. That heavy slam did nothing. Basically, he has to pick his fodder here as he decides to. I mean, man, if he lives one, but it's gonna do a lot and. Okay, it's the citrus set. Uh, the wiki. Oh my god, I was about to say. Why is he. Why did he heal so much? I'm gonna go Pax here. As he taglows, why? Dude, I would have killed him. I guess he outplayed me. So I assume this has energy ball slash slash psychic. Which is why I go Metagross here. I mean, Toxabox would have lived Energy Ball, but it wouldn't have lived Psychic, so... I'm gonna go into Metagross, Mega Evolve, and... Mesh doesn't kill this, so I have to have my arm, which sucks. Um, 
I guess lowering the speed doesn't matter that much. So we just have to spam Meteor Mesh now. If we miss this, um, hard X if we miss this. <laughs> we get an unnecessary crit. And I can just bullet punch now so he cannot... So he cannot, um, like he dies to bullet punch. If he switches out he dies to rocks. Amazing. So Zerkatry. Um How do I not lose to Zerkatry? I mean I have E speed in the back, so He doesn't have speed pass, so I should be fine. I'ma just go for a safe ice punch. He goes for HP ice there for some reason. He's live or Oh yeah, predicted my Zyger, but why would I go hard Zyger? Is this guy okay? Um, oh yeah, it speeds me because of the speed drop. Yeah, Metal was actually not uh, find the keep here. Um, I don't want this being the Z hypnosis one though. I guess Metagross doesn't do that much, so I'm gonna just bullet punch bring and I get a crit. Okay, lucky and bad. <laughs> Good. I cry when I I cry when I get hexed and I laugh when I hex them. So let's just see our rank and we will get one more if the ladder would update already. Nope, T is not here. I don't know what this guy always thinks that I'm T. I, I guess. Okay, we're 1526. I guess it's because T I'm um, using the same account, but he doesn't use this account at all. This is my World to Top 10 account. T only uses the. The Patlops mom account. So, like we share all sometimes we, when we ladder with friends and call. And this guy's a friend from, of T apparently, so shout outs to you. Um, we see Beedrill Voltron with double taboos and double ground types. Really interesting. Like, this is like. This guy has it in the order the, the Voltron, the taboos, and the grounds. So, these people like to lead with uh, Beedrill. I said this guy just disconnected, but um, so it's either gonna be Beedrill or Landris, I feel like. Hmm, which means um, I kind of want to leave Metagross. Ah, fuck it, let's just leave with Landris. Yeah, I knew that this guy would leave with Beedrill, and we just get rocks up. And if he wants to U-turn, he takes helmet damage. So this is completely fine with me. Um, he could be HPIs because he has a B drill, so he wants to weaken my Landris. So I don't want to stay in here because, like, even if he gets rocks up, that's fine with me because he has to defog for his B drill anyway, kind of. Oh, he doesn't have to, but like his speed will just get worn down if he doesn't defog. So I'm either gonna go into. Like, I don't have good answers for Landers, actually. This... Yeah, I'm actually gonna go hard into Metagross. Predicting HPI slash rocks. So he goes for rocks, and now. I'm gonna just Ice Punch here. Like. Magnezone should die to a hammer arm, right? So he goes Tapu Fini. Okay, that was a good mid ground for him. Should have just mashed there. Um, I'm gonna just mash now. Like, what do I lose? If he goes back to Landers, if he goes Magnus, I can like, I can go for Hammer Arm. Like, yeah, he can pivot. Okay, I got a lucky crit there. He can pivot into Landers here. But. Okay, he Scarf Magnus on, gets a wrench crit, which sucks, but we hit a Hammer Arm, which is most important. Like my my medium mesh could didn't really matter. My hammer arm killed him anyway. The the hammer like the teapot crit is a bit annoying because we're we can only take one more helmet um, round of helmet. So this is probably scarf lele. I mean, no, never mind. I dropped my speed. I dropped my speed. So I would like to bullet punches, but I cannot because of psychic turn. Um. Metagross would be nice to keep if it didn't crit me, but I don't think there's a point in keeping it now. And if it's Twisted Spoon, there's no point in switching out. 
I'm gonna just go into my um probably into my type of Coco and click T build. Just to switch up the terrain god god this team is weak to Lele. I saw a team in the a team in the forums with the CGI that had a Solvest like it had a Magnezone and then Empoint suggested in the comments to make it AV Magnezone because it's weak to Lele. Maybe I should like I should like use something like that. But I don't like mods like Magnezone at the moment because Duck Trio is annoying for that. Um I was just nature's madness here. To get damage on his Landorus. I mean U turning also would have been an option. You didn't decide would have been a good option, but Nature's Madness is a good mid ground. And I don't want to take Helmet, obviously, so. He could HPS or U turn here, but I'm gonna go decide. Uh, hopefully, he just earthquakes and we can finally do some work. Yes, thank you. We can click the Sinister Arrow right now. Because I don't I, I don't do gain anything from SD, because then. He can just you turn out and revenge me, so I'ma just go for the Z move here, kill his landers. Shut us the CGI. <laughs> I can tell this guy. This arc is mine. This account is mine. There's no one else on this account. Um this is a problem. Yeah, I've realized my weakness now to tap a Lele hard X. I basically have to sack something, then come in with Coco and click T bolt. Mm, Toxapex is nice for the Fini. Oh yeah, no, yeah, he, pre he PM Pat loves mom and he got redirected to this account. Yeah, yeah I, I, I understand. Mm. Okay, this is bad. I don't want to sack this joy. This guy has keeps having internet connection problems. Like I had on the weekend, <laughs> he keeps this. I uh, this heat like on saturday my internet was completely dead and on sunday it was like that it was like back for three hours and then died again which was so annoying because i cannot i couldn't record spl that much only like three games on sunday or two games um and on saturday i couldn't record any which sucked a lot i want to keep the situation i want to put it in the thumbnail the situation i can also get a i kind of want to sack toxic packs I just want to keep my decision. You feel me? You feel me? Decision wants to be in the thumbnail, and I just have to click T bolt. If he goes hard on the guard jump, it's a bit annoying. I feel like he scarf jump on his team, so I will just switch out. As he thankfully sex is tapping lately. Thank you, my good. <laughs> I would have gone to guard jump every day of the week or into um, yeah into guard jump if I was my opponent, because there's no way I HP is because Lele is a big threat to my team. I don't over predict in front of big sweats, dude. Yeah, this team actually has a decent matchup versus Stall, so I wish I wish we face we would face Stall instead, even though it's not that fun to play. I can just go Lando here like Coco is nice to keep to beat um the Tapufini. I mean I also have don't poison me, thank you. I also have Decidue I do kill the Fini, but I'm pretty sure Decidue doesn't Oko Fini. Even Coco might not Oko it. And I have a free earthquake here since this guy doesn't have like any ground immunities. At this point. And I guess keeping the Landers healthy for the Beedrill is nice. Even though the Beedrill probably dies to Sucker Punch. Yeah, the Beedrill dies to Sucker Punch from Decidue. But keeping Landers is still nice to have. Keeping Landers is still nice to have a ground immunity for Scarf Jump, so I'm gonna go hard Zygarde. I don't even care about the health on my Zygarde. Like, even if he Moonblast there, I don't care. I just wanna keep my Decidue alive, the mascot. And we will just Thousand Arrows kill this. Because we're banded. And hopefully we can pick off the Decidue. I had a beat over Decidue, I Sucker Punch later on. 
I guess I can switch out here in case I in case I get in trouble I can switch out so I can lock myself into E speed later on as my dude decided to earthquake. I don't know when earthquake ever was the play. I guess he predicted me to go Coco. Um I expect this guy to forfeit every second. Oh man, let's just earthquake. Yeah, he's choice locked. I don't know why he's earthquaking. I mean, yeah, I get why he's earthquaking. He cannot switch out, but. Yeah, okay, let's end it at this point. At least we won, I think, four in a row. Even though I should have lost the second game too. I got outplayed there. That could have been a sub of mine. Who knows who I am. And just was tryharding. Because, like, we're only 15 49. Like, I would get one more for sure. But I don't want to make these videos too long. Because I know some people like shorter videos. 36 minutes is already kind of long. So thank you guys for watching. Um, it's kind of sad that the I didn't put in that much work, but at least I got a kill in the last game. I also didn't play optimal, and I know this team. This team needs a lot of work. I know this team is like <laughs> I just threw this together and it looked really fun. I tested it on my other account and it was working out, but I knew it struggled with Ferrothorn, and yeah, we faced Ferrothorn the first two games. The second game, I locked the Ferrothorn, and yeah. The, the change to like make the Metagross Hammer was obviously needed and I also feel like hmm, this team needs some other changes but we don't necessarily need a Scarf because like I said earlier we have triple priority but there's something about this team that I don't like um, I will leave this team in the placement in the comments for you guys or in the, in the description so you guys can like make suggestions what you would change or you can try the team for yourself and I hope you enjoy it at least like at least it's a team that can beat stall if you like if you know your opponent will bring stall you can bring this team now like you can maybe change up the fat core of toxapex landers you can make toxapex something else if you really wanted to you can make it a scarfer um but yeah since you have triple priority like i said multiple times now you don't necessarily need that um it's just my playstyle, I like to have some sort of defensive backbone, but you can make this HO and make the toxic back something offensive. Um, there's obviously better options to run over the Sidra, but the Sidra is a really cool mon. Um, yeah, I made this outro way too long, I don't know what I'm trying to say, I'm missing something. Thank you guys for watching, <laughs> I will see you next time, I completely forgot what I want to say. Peace out friends.